Hello friends, how you guys doing? Welcome once again to our channel. All right, so what is going on in crypto space? You can see exactly what is going on and the market is doing what we expected of it to do, guys. And today's video, we're going to start with Shiba Inu. And there's something just going to pay attention to what is happening in the market. And if this thing plays out exactly what we're expecting, then be ready to bank big with Shiba Inu. If that sounds interesting, please kindly subscribe to this channel and like this video as we dive into the chat properly. All right, so this is Shiba Inu chart. And if you take a look from starting from four hours chart, we can see clearly that it's like this corrective structure is about to end or has ended. Now, why do I say so? Now, because we've seen that every time the market makes a complex correction, it shows you that once that correction is completed, the market will bounce hard in the opposite direction. So we can see clearly that the market has given us this sharp impulse down, and now we call this A, and has given us this complex B structure. We have this one first sharp up, first sharp down, and this we call it B. All right, so this is a B structure, and you can see the market has given us this C. One, two, three. So this is a six structure. So obviously, this A, B, C is a complete structure in the market. All right, so once this is completed like this, the next phase is to shoot up. Okay, it's to shoot up. Under normal circumstances, it's to shoot up. Now, the portion is that is the market is going to move from now to the moon. Right, so now we can say yes, based on the data we have at hand, the market is bound to shoot up from here. Now, considerably, we can also say, well, it just depends on when finally the market decides to break this resistance here, because this resistance which tell us exactly if it's mooning or is it gonna give us more correction. Okay, but for now, taking Shiba Inu chart or trade from here to this point, is something that everybody can think of because we are sure that the market is going to move like this guys okay but we don't know whether it's going to break this or is it going to give us three wave down three wave up three wave down before it goes okay so that is a million dollar question but for now we are certain that the market is going to give us this move which is coming now if you take a look on it from one hour chart you can see that the market is actually breaking out so we're expecting either it breaks out from here or it give us one more down and there we go give us three wave before going but obviously within this region a reversal is set to occur and that is what we can envisage and see clearly from the market that the market is bound to play out as an investor you don't need to bother from what is going on in the immediate term but for us as a trader we care more of what the movement of the market is as the market is developing guys so that is just our take on shiba inu so the good news that we have here now you know there are a lot of fundamental good news all right but we don't really uh, focus much on those fundamentals because i don't know which one that has the ability to move the market all right uh, aggressively all right but for now what we are focusing on is the market structurally is sound and it's about to give us a little cons consolidation here and then the market moves all right on bitcoin guys we can see clearly that the market is doing exactly as we forecasted it guys remember what i told you that bitcoin is bound to break this low okay you can see clearly it has tagged it we told you that it's coming down it's giving a correction it's giving another correction and it's going to drop and exactly you can see for yourself that bitcoin has tagged this low so what next what next for us to answer that question we might not really look at uh, the next phase from the four hours let's go to daily so we can see a clear view of what is going on now having seen bitcoin done something like this there are two scenarios to this equation all right the two scenario is this you know looking at this move entirely you can see one two three move so obviously we are we seeing uh, a correction of this move to give us one more up, which is likely to make it five wave. You can see from the monthly charts, the market is looking a little bit not aggressive, but bearish. If you take a look on it here, you can see that obviously there is a sharp sell off. So either we are trying to see uh, something like here, where the market drops like this, 
before going up again okay so something like this is possible guys it's possible that we have seen that happen over and over time if i show you uh SP 500 chart you can see something like this playing out over and over again in those charts so we're expecting something like this to play out on bitcoin but believe you me if something like this drop out a lot of guys will panic because bitcoin might actually break this previous low to get to ten thousand range or even close to that all right but for now we are not looking at that we are just looking at the immediate term to see what the market is doing so as a trader do we have any trade set up today uh i don't think so there's no straight setup all right there's no trade setup we'll take a look on it on one hour there's no trade setup but there will be a bounce i don't know how hard that bounce will be there will be a bounce we are just focusing if the market give us this consolidate like this we might decide to take that trade or uh, but for now there's no trade setup now remember what i told you guys on ethereum let's take a look on ethereum guys you know when people are saying ethereum is going to five thousand i know you know five thousand is psychological uh points you know because most times before market breaks those psychological points they will ever reserve re sorry re reverse before going up to that level so that's why i know before bit once bit once ethereum breaks that all-time high there will be a very sharp sell-off okay you can see that guys you know when it breaks this all-time high he actually start dropping so now we're expecting for that drop all right okay if bitcoin is dropping definitely too it's going to drop all right so before that this is what we're expecting on ethereum before the market start rallying again all right so every market is just following suit uh as the case might be so currently we are seeing uh, a correction a sharp correction and this correction believe you me will still continue the way i'm looking at it here but this is one two three maybe this is after this one more drop will come that is five before we have this three wave move up and down we go okay let me give you one tips of that you take home today you see once the market start correcting and the first wave down is five wave down that is after markets is rallying like this let me do it on a clear background once market start rallying like this as market is making an uptrend 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 and the first set off is something like this one two three okay if market starts like this to correct itself then always know that this is not the whole corrective structure right the market will also give you a three wave move up and another one down okay most likely over 99.9 percent .9 of the time it plays out like this okay so but once market gives you uh, a correction like this and impulse a correction like this you know at the break of this market might start going up right but if you give you five wave down initially that tells you that the market is undergo a complex correction or that is not the only correction of the market okay so if you take a look on ethereum you can see a five wave move down okay five wave move down so which is not completed yet because we are still expecting one more drop like this and after that expect this to come up if you take a look on bitcoin i can show you that over and over many many charts okay because that is how the market moves let me go back to bitcoin and show you that maybe that biggest uh corrective structure we saw last time you know if i if you take this wave on the this move on the one hour you see a five wave move down okay when we saw it that is when i know that the market will still give you what three wave move up and another one will drop okay i see that happening in all market instruments take a look on binance bnb i as i was expecting this binance to break this all-time high but you can see what happened guy the market did not break it instead after breaking it, it start dropping but that's still a rule for it guys this is what i'm expecting okay market is just move sideways like this and there we go okay binance will definitely break that all-time high but may not be down but just let us wait and see how it plays out okay Binance will definitely play the all-time high every market is following suit they are just correcting and correcting now if you take a look on doge let's take a look on doge dogecoin uh, remember what i told you guys last time that is correcting okay and this correction is taking a lot of time so assuming this is a base or a, a support so as it comes here like this 
I remember this one did not actually break this time. It didn't break it, so assuming this happens like this, it makes another wave up. So once the market start giving us kind of a contracting structure, now the best thing is just to stay clear and watch what the market is doing because correctively, this thing can break down. We've seen that happen over and over again. This market can break down like this. Okay, so just need to pay attention on what the market is doing. In that scenario, we can also look at the indicators. Once markets start confusing, especially in the structural pattern, to see what the indicator is showing us. You can see the indicator like RSI just pointing downwards. Okay, so it's not giving us a lot of a lot of data. Okay, but that's why Doge might actually break down more. Okay, come up like this, break down before going. Okay, I think this one makes a lot of sense. Something like this, guys. Okay, so you will come down, breaking this low, make up drop before going again. Okay, but let's just watch because this whole move is just a wave. Okay, and this is just the second wave we're expecting. And after that, the market will drop and then go. Okay, so that's what we're expecting on Doge. But let's just watch and see how it develops. But weekly chart is not looking that strong. Weekly chart is not looking that strong. Now, there's something that actually uh, I've discovered in cryptocurrency that once a market do so well in the past, maybe in a bull run, most times, over 80% of the time, that market is done. All right? <laughs> that market is done. So in case you didn't catch that biggest move, just look for the new ones that you can put your money in. All right? So like 2017, we made claims on SVG. We made claims on uh, uh, Digibytes. We made claims on different those coins. Where are they now? They are gone. All right? So, but, you know, nobody will, can tell you which one will actually win the race of cryptocurrency. But apart from Bitcoin and Ethereum and all those biggest uh guys there that are at the top you know that one that you made killings just take your money from it and invest in other new asset class that will you know has the potential of you know giving you that big profit all right okay guys because every other market for now just look at this coin i told you guys last time all right that is uh the tombo chain <laughs> don't forget i told you to invest in tombo chain i'm just saying it again uh, looking at looking at this structurally you know one thing about this tumble chain it always give back its profit uh, but it's looking solid it's still looking solid okay it's still looking very good and i know it's gonna stick uh break this all-time high probably before next week it's gonna break this all-time high and get to six dollars guys because it looks it looks great the chart is looking good in case if not let me just tell you guys to invest in too much chain. I'm not a financial advisor, okay? But I think on that probability that the market is good, all right? It's good. Uh, where should you put your stop loss? In case you're investing, no, just put in what you can afford to lose. Put in, put in your amount here. Just put in here and your stop loss should be here. In case the market decides to reverse, but I doubt if that happens. But the market is looking very, very good, guys. All right, guys, so this is where we're dropping the, the mic for today. Kindly subscribe and like this video, guys. I will see you in the next video. Thank you.